Dr. Strangelove, a comedic masterpiece of Cold War satire. Introduction In the realm of cinema, there are certain films that stand the test of time and become iconic expressions of a particular era or theme. Dr. Strangelove or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb is one such film. Released in 1964, this dark comedy directed by Stanley Kubrick effortlessly blends humor with social commentary, providing a scathing critique of Cold War politics and the existential fears of the era. In this article, we will delve into the genius of Dr. Strangelove and its enduring significance. Dr. Strangelove, The Plot The film takes place during the tensest period of the Cold War, where the threat of nuclear annihilation loomed large. The storyline centers around a paranoid American general who, out of a misguided ideology, orders a nuclear strike on the Soviet Union. As the situation spirals out of control, the President of the United States, along with a group of advisors, desperately tries to prevent the catastrophe. The genius of Kubrick's direction, Stanley Kubrick's brilliance as a filmmaker is on full display in Dr. Strangelove. Known for his attention to detail and meticulous planning, Kubrick masterfully blends contrasting tones to create a cinematic experience that is both hilarious and thought-provoking. His use of dark comedy to illuminate the absurdity of nuclear warfare is nothing short of genius. The power of satire. Satire is a powerful tool when it comes to social critique, and Dr. Strangelove utilizes this tool with remarkable skill. By employing satire, the film manages to lampoon the very real fears and dangers of the Cold War era. It exposes the hypocrisy and irrationality that often underlie political decisions, highlighting the folly of relying on mutually assured destruction as a deterrent strategy. The Memorable Characters One of the greatest strengths of Dr. Strangelove lies in its ensemble cast, who deliver stellar performances that bring the characters to life. From Peter Sellers' memorable portrayal of multiple roles to George C. Scott's unforgettable General Buck Turgidson, each character is distinct and contributes to the film's overall brilliance. The iconic Dr. Strangelove No discussion of the film would be complete without mentioning the character that lends his name to the title, Dr. Strangelove himself. Played by Peter Sellers, Dr. Strangelove is a former Nazi scientist with a debilitating arm that seems to have a mind of its own. Sellers' portrayal of this eccentric character is simultaneously hilarious and unsettling, providing a comedic counterpoint to the gravity of the situation. The film's legacy Despite being released over five decades ago, Dr. Strangelove continues to resonate with audiences today. Its examination of the dangers of nuclear weapons and the inherent flaws in political decision-making remains as relevant as ever. The film's dark humor and biting social commentary have made it a timeless classic that serves as a cautionary tale for future generations. Conclusion In conclusion, Dr. Strangelove or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb is a cinematic masterpiece that effortlessly blends comedy with social commentary. Stanley Kubrick's direction, the power of satire, memorable characters, and the film's enduring legacy all contribute to its status as a true classic. If you haven't had the pleasure of watching this iconic film, it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the darkly humorous ride. Meta Description 155 Characters Explore the brilliance of Stanley Kubrick's Dr. Strangelove or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb, a timeless comedy that delves into the absurdity of the Cold War era. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more content. Let's not forget to leave comments if you like.